everybody, welcome to Predatory Fans. Let's go feed some fish. I'm sorry if I scared you, I didn't mean to. I was trying to scare Lisa. But today, oh, today is feeding day, so we're gonna take you guys along. And if you're wondering why I took my beard out, I missed my beard. You wanna tell them what happened? You wanna tell them how dumb you are? Or you want me to? It's not. It was a mistake. It was an accident. Okay, guys, how many of you ever went to trim your beard and the clip head just fell out and you just went rah? Hello, darkness, my old friend. And now we have a goatee. And I almost lost my goatee as well with the grill. You want to you just don't even mention that? Yeah, I know. All right. Next but time. if you look really closely, I burned my eyebrow and my eyelids, so be careful. In today's video, we're going to talk about the importance of giving your fish high quality foods so they can grow just like us you know if you eat garbage you end up looking like that if you eat good you look like me so you guys start eating good a lot of protein but Zach does have really good abs I don't what are we gonna do today actually I should have said gopher neck sorry Zach not you gopher neck if you eat bad stuff you look like gopher neck for these fish right here, we do a variety of foods. I mean, I made a video on it before and I showed, and I also want Kevin, uh, in a little bit, you hear that Kevin? To get in and start showing us uh, what he does to feed his stingrays to make sure that they're very healthy. But we just separate a little bit of food today. We're gonna feed him some smelts. We're gonna fill, feed him, um, you know what this is? Uh, mullet. I believe these are poacher. So we like to do a variety. We also have some seafood over here, some tilapia, and some shrimp. What about the big boy fish? This guy? Yeah. We can do one of these too. I don't know if you saw the last couple videos ago. I fed this to one of their biomes in the you know, by mouth, and she ate the whole thing. We're also going to feed this tank right here. I got a couple feeders that I'm treating. I want to do a, a, a live feeding on this tank just so you can see how some of these fish react to live food. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna feed them first while the big tank, the mega tank food gets defrosted and um, see how they act. Uh, hopefully we can do some slow motion as well and uh, catch up. Look, look at that stingray. It looks like she's eating the small one, but she's not, she's just covering over. You can even see the other one. But let me put this to defrost and I'll be right back. Are you ready? We're gonna do the live feeding right now. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? To, are you ready to fish? So treated, treated chiners, right? right? These are uh, already treated with uh, antibacterial. Let's see, um, ready. Stay down there. I'm gonna do one at a time so you can see. You ready? the other fish or try to bite the other fish to, to eat. The, the next one, which I think is a big important too, is uh, tank space or, or pond space or whatever you put your fish in. You know, that's, that really makes a difference. Like a lot of fish uh, are territorial. So if another fish swims on their area in their house, they're gonna attack. It's just the way it is. But here you can see we have peacocks, we have perch, we have sharks, we have vampire, dorados. Everybody's coexisting together with no problems. 
same thing with the big tank, which we're gonna go feed right now. Do you have any questions, babe, for the questions? for the viewers at home? You're you're their voice, uh. you're a people's voice. So you gotta ask me whatever you think that they might want to know. Um, let me get back to you. Okay. All right, guys. So I got a measuring tape right here. Look, I want to see. Okay, so this fish right here, it's about 14 inches, okay? And watch how fast he's gonna be gone. This is why I can't put those fish in here yet because they're about the size. He's gonna get it. Don't get the camera wet. Eating fish. 
which is the rib saw right there. Actually, everybody's palate. The box is a really catfish, but mainly for the rib saw, for their weenie, we have a bigger weenie down here. By looking for up here, I think this, this air biome is already five, five and a half feet. It's hard to see it on camera, but she's probably about 12 inches across. Pretty thick. Look, that's Lisa feeding the fish right there. 100%. Uh, but if I tell her, I get yelled at, so. Don't say anything, guys. That's how we do it. We don't say anything. We'll just do it. Right, babe? Okay. I said you're the most beautiful girl in the world. Wow. Just let it go. One, two. Yeah, we need more. 